the last thing I just want to update about the Chinese uh, economy in general, because <laughs> not long ago we see the stock market goes down and now it's coming back, etc. And of course, there are different analysis, uh, the doomsday scenario for China, uh, etc. So I did talk to a prominent uh, lawyer uh, who has been working in China for many years. And because his position is sensitive, he declined an official interview, but he did write up a summary, uh, which I think is a good summary about the Chinese economy. The Chinese stock market is not and never has been a barometer of the Chinese economy. Not a lot of national savings or household wealth is held in the stock market. It is not the major fundraising source for Chinese companies. This is very different from the U.S. economy, where the performance of the stock market attracts the economy closely. But the stock market route in China is a sign of lack of confidence and the loss of direction for the investors, which the government will need to find ways to manage. Well, it seems like the government will find a way to manage it even in the short run. Continue. The real problem remains in the property market, and this will take another couple of years to sort out. Ultimately, it is believed that the government will stand behind the developers and banks to make sure there will be no systematic crisis with the banks, but the process will be painful. I think that's a consensus in the Chinese uh, media. There is not a lot of room for physical stimulus given the size of the government debt already. So expect to see more fine tuning and the use of the monetary tools. The Chinese government is saving the big bazooka for when the real needs arises, such as the US going into recession later this year. Chinese government is still betting this will happen as the debt financed growth in the US is not sustainable. Foreign investment will take a long time to recover but China relies little on foreign capital anyway. It has the world's highest saving, so plenty of capital. And the only thing needed is to get companies to start investing and consumers spending again. This will require more confidence boosting measures and the propping up the stock market will help. The big bright spot is continuing technological transition and upgrade especially continuing advances in EVs, batteries, green tech, AI, semiconductors, robotics, etc. Tech advances will lead to transformation of the manufacture and export sectors, but in the near term will be insufficient to offset the problems caused by property market. Population decline is a long-term problem for growth, but short-term impact is exaggerated. There is a structural unemployment and talent mismatch in China, with demand for technically skilled labor remains high. Long-term growth prospects remain good if China is able to lead the next tech and industrial revolution in critical sectors. This will cause more friction with the US and Europe. So geopolitical and the trade tensions will continue to rise. So creating more robust domestic demand is key as foreign export market will become more challenging. I think that that's a pretty good summary of the uh, Chinese economy. The Chinese economy uh, foundation is solid, uh, but there are some challenges and the Chinese government clearly is fully aware of that and is working on, on them.